एवरीवन वेलकम टू डी टी कार्ड चैनल माय सेल्फ महेश कृष्णपा इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्लोन योर रिमोट रिपोजिटरी यूजिंग एस टी प्रोटोकॉल यूजिंग यूर बिट पकेट अकाउंट पासवर्ड एंड यूजर आई बट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मार्च फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू यूजर्स विल नो लॉन्गर एबल टू यूज देयर अटलासियन अकाउंट पासवर्ड टू इंटरेक्ट विथ बिट पकेट वो गिट ओवर एस प्रोटोकॉल सो लेट्स हाव ए look at this blog deprecating atlassian account password for git and bitbucket api activities starting from 1st march 2022 bitbucket users will no longer be able to use their atlassian password to interact with bitbucket via git over https and the bitbucket api users will need to start using bitbucket app passwords for git commands scripts and integrating tools so this is the new update starting from 1st march 2022 so let's understand step by step process how should we create app password how to clone your remote repository using http protocol and app password in detail in this video first let me show you in case if you try to clone your remote repository using https protocol and with your bitbucket account password what will be the error you are going to get and how to resolve that using app password i will explain in detail the main reason why this change has been implemented because to improve the atlassian account security let me open git bash command line prompt to show you the error then i will explain you how to create app password how can we use app password to clone your remote repositories using https so i have created one folder called development under my documents so i want to clone my remote repository to this folder let me right click and open my git bash command prompt now let me try to clone my remote repository using https protocol let me navigate to my remote repository i want to clone bitbucket repo remote repository to my local system so i click on clone option then select https copy the command then close this go back to our git bash command prompt copy paste the command press and enter so it will ask for password which you have to enter so let me try with my bitbucket account password which i tried in the previous video and see what is the error i'm going to get so you can see bitbucket cloud recently stopped supporting account passwords for the git authentication app passwords are recommended for the most of the use cases and can be created in your personal settings so to clone your remote repository using https protocol you need a app password so how to create one i will show it now minimize your git bash command line go back to your git repository at top right corner you can see profile icon click on that under settings you will see personal settings option click on personal settings option so you will get to see account settings under account settings you can see email aliases and notification after that you will see access management here you will get to see app authorization and next option is app passwords so let me click on this app password i don't have any app password created as of now so i will create new password for my remote repository cloning i will give app password name as https clone password as my password name and you can select the permissions as per your requirement so for now i just select the first column account password i'll give both read write workspace read write projects read write admin repositories i'll give read write admin and delete pull request read and write so issues read and write so i'll select only these many options if you want you can select all these and you can try with different option how does it permissions work you can try it from your end for now i'll just select these options and i'll just create my app password click on create once you click on create it will create a app password for you and you can see a message here here is your app password for https clone pwd you will not be able to view this password again once you close this window so be sure to record it so you have to copy this password and save it in some place for your future use i will save my password in my notepad plus plus okay this is my password once done i'll close this message so after closing you will not be able to get the password so that is why you have to save this password in some document so that you can use this password for your future cloning so once i generate a uh, app password now there are two ways to clone your remote repository so first option is go back to your git bash try to clone using git clone and the url command press and enter 
again it will prompt for for the password here instead of your bitbucket account password you have to provide app password so that i have already saved it in my notepad plus plus so i'm going to copy this and i'll provide the password click on continue so let me go back to my git bash and here you can see your remote repository has been cloned to your local list the files you can see bitbucket repo remote repository has been cloned to your local folder now the same process we can achieve in different way and in case if you are very much interested to learn bitbucket from basics i already have complete tutorials on udemy i will provide you the link in the description as well as in the comment section if you are very much interested to learn you can enroll for my course i will show you the second method how can you clone your remote repository to your local using app password okay before that i have cleared my screen and now i am going to remove this directory the command is rm iphone rf since it is a directory press on enter so now the directory has been removed and you can see there is no files under your development if you want to check you can navigate to the folder and see there is no file under your development this folder is empty what is the second option to clone your remote repository using app password i will explain now select the remote repository which you want to clone click on clone option select https copy this git clone followed by git repository url paste the command in your notepad plus plus or any editor tool before i proceed with the next changes i will give you the syntax of the command this is the syntax let's have a close look at this uh, syntax git clone followed by https url so this url contains my username that is manisha k 2014 colon so let me accordingly let me modify my bitbucket url followed by app password let me copy and paste my app app password you can see i have copied and pasted my app password after that at bitbucket.org and again the username manisha k2014 and bitbucket repo.git so this is the command once you have this command ready copy this go back to your git bash and you can see i have zero files under my development folder right click and paste my command i have a close look once again git clone https followed by username and colon and app password at the rate of bitbucket.org then again username and bitbucket remote repository name dot git so press on enter so it started cloning your remote repository so now if you list the files and directories under development folder we can see bitbucket repo has been cloned your remote repository has been cloned to your local you can change the directory to bitbucket repo and you can see pointing to the local master branch so this is how going forward you have to generate a app password to clone your remote repository using https protocol thanks for watching this video hope you like this content if yes please do subscribe to my channel and click on like button please share this new update with your colleagues friends and thanks for watching and in case if you are very much interested to learn bitbucket from basics i already have complete tutorials on udemy i will provide you the link in the description as well as in the comment section if you are very much interested to learn you can enroll for my course thanks for watching once again see you in the next video thank you